There's a rumor going on about a tunnel called the Urashima Tunnel. It is said that if you go down the tunnel, it will fulfill your wish but you will age 100 years in exchange. Meanwhile, a gloomy-looking boy walking home from school in the midst of a small rain. He arrives at a train station where there's already a girl sitting there. Suddenly, an announcement telling that there will be a delay in the train due to an animal collision. As he never saw her before, he deduces that she is not from around the area and tells her that the train is late due to hitting a deer which is common there. However, the girl acts unfriendly towards him and avoids interacting with him as much as possible. The boy gives her his umbrella, as he notices her holding dearly to her bag, not wanting to make it wet and he says that her parents will be worried if she gets the flu. She tells him that she doesn't have a parent, but he responds by saying that it is good. Surprised by his response, she receives his umbrella and asks his contact number. They finally find out each other's name with the boy being Tuno Kaoru and the girl being Hana Shiro Anzu. The next day, Kaoru goes to school alone as usual. In the class, they are introduced to a new student who is actually Hana Shiro. As usual, she acts rude to everyone despite he being approached by the students there. One girl really dislikes her attitude and confronts her. She grabs a manga Hana Shiro is reading and drops it to the floor. Hanashiro instantly punches her in the face, surprising everyone in the class. Later that day, Kaoru prays at the altar of his late little sister, Karen. At night, he hears his father being drunk. In his drunkness, his father attacks him and blames him for his little sister's death. He even asks him to bring back Karen in exchange for Kaoru's life. Kaoru immediately runs away as far as possible from his house. While running, he falls to the side of a train rail. There, he finds an abandoned pathway that leads to a tunnel with a triangular shape entrance. He enters and finds a path with glowing trees. On his way, he finds a child's sandal that looks exactly like his little sister's. He then goes straight into the tunnel, with the hope of finding his little sister, but is then stopped by a parrot flying straight at him. Kaoru recognizes the parrot as his long-dead parrot and immediately remembers the rumor about the Urashima tunnel and goes straight outside the tunnel. At home, his father hugs him to apologize and tells him that he has been gone for a week. He confirms what his father said after checking his phone. The next day, he goes back into the tunnel, trying to find Karen. But, he is surprised to find Hanashiro following him entering the tunnel. He immediately pulls her out and explains the tunnel's time difference to her. This excites Hanashiro instead and she invites Kaoru to explore the tunnel together to fulfill both of their wishes. Kaoru accepts her proposal and they start going out to the tunnel after school together to investigate it. They found the point where the phone call disconnects at the entrance of the tunnel and the time difference was 2,400 times meaning that three seconds in the tunnel equals two hours outside. They then try if the message can be received from outside the tunnel. As he enters, Kaoru notices how fast Hanashiro is moving outside of the tunnel entrance. The next day, they both go on a date at a nearby aquarium. While conversing, Kaoru tells her about the aquarium being the place that his family used to visit together when he was a kid. He tells her about how his little sister died after falling off a tree as she was trying to catch a rhinoceros beetle for him. His mother then left home and his father got drunk and scolded him, basically leaving him with a broken family. He then tells Hanashiro that he wants to bring Karen back. Next weekend, they plan for a three days vacation so that they can explore the tunnel as deep as they can. As they both run, Hanashiro found pieces of paper from the tunnel. Despite their time running short, Hanashiro insists that she must take all of them with her. Kaoru then immediately help her to pick them all. They got out a bit late than planned, making Kaoru unable to come home as it is so early in the morning and he worries about what his father will say. Hanashiro then invites him to her place instead. She lives alone in a place that used to be occupied by her uncle who went back to his hometown so she can stay there. As he looks around her room, Kaoru finds Hanashiro's grandfather's manga that she read in school. When confronted about the pieces of paper she took from the tunnel, 
she tells him that they are her manga. She really loves her grandfather's manga and tried to make her own despite all her family members' will. All of her family hate her grandfather for keep working on making manga despite never achieving any success, feeling that he is only a burden to the family. She has been trying to get her own manga published. But she got terrified by the fierce competition of the mangaka world. She has been afraid that she won't have enough talent to make it in that world, just like how her grandfather never did. Which is why she went to the tunnel. Her wish is to get a talent to be special, special enough to make a manga that will be remembered in the world forever. Kaoru then insists to read the manga she made despite her initial objection as she is also not satisfied with her own work. After finished reading it, he compliments her work as being interesting, making her blush, and thanked him. But she is still not satisfied until she gets her talent, she asked Kaoru when he will decide to go to the tunnel again and decide to go there together. During the summer vacation, they both go to a summer festival together. He brings her to his and his sister's secret place to watch the fireworks. He says that he might not come back after a thousand years, so he wants to watch it again for the last time. During the fireworks show, he tells her that the day they decide to go to the tunnel is August 2nd, the day his little sister died. One night, when Kaoru got home, he is welcomed by his father who also brought a woman who he introduced as Kaoru's new mother. Hearing the news, Kaoru started having a panic attack and threw out in the middle of the room right after seeing his little sister's altar. However, his father scolds him badly after dragging him out of the room. The next day, Hanashiro asked him to meet up at a cafe. Hanashiro tells him that she sent the manga that Kaoru read to the publisher and got a call from the magazine editor telling her that they are interested. However, Hanashiro still wants to go to the tunnel the next day as she is still not feeling confident but is internally unsure about her decision. Kaoru then tells her that their plan will be held off for a bit. On their way home, the train that they are waiting for is having a delay just like the first time they met. Kaoru then recreates their first encounter scene and they have a laugh together. The next day, when Hanashiro goes to Kaoru's house, his father tells her that he ran away from home the day before. Hanashiro immediately realizes that he went to the tunnel alone and runs straight to the tunnel. As she arrive, she got a message from Kaoru saying that he has entered the tunnel alone. After the message was sent, he throw his phone away. Through the message, he tells her that she already has that special talent and doesn't need to throw away years of her life for things she already has. He also tells her that the tunnel doesn't actually fulfill one's wishes, it instead restores what is lost. So it is useless to her anyway. He encourages her to go write a manga and live her life to the fullest. Hanashiro was immediately consumed by a combination of fury and sorrow. Even sacrificing everything in the world, she just wanted to be with him. After a long journey into the tunnel, Kaoru arrives at a door and goes inside. Just like a dream, Kaoru turns back into a child but is together with Karen now. As they are enjoying their time together, Kaoru remembered everything after seeing his adult form in the mirror. He also gets his phone back even though he already threw it away. The phone constantly receives messages from Hanashiro from year to year. From the messages, he finally realizes his feeling towards Hanashiro and wants to meet her again with Karen encouraging him to go see her. He immediately left after hearing his little sister's voice for one last time and run as fast as he can to exit the tunnel. Years have passed by in the present time and Hanashiro is now a real mangaka. She has been having difficulty serializing her work and is now taking a break. For these last few years, she has been holding on to the umbrella Kaoru lent her during their first encounter. While waiting for the train in the usual spot, she breaks down in tears but suddenly, her phone got a new message. She rushes from the train platform and runs to the tunnel as fast as she can. Kaoru wakes up inside the tunnel with his head on Hanashiro's leg. She went inside to pick him up. They then share a kiss inside a tunnel for 10 seconds, which is around six and a half hours outside. When they got out, Kaoru has been gone for 13 years and 102 days. 
it still remains a mystery for them why did the message go through the tunnel even though it is not supposed to happen. The film ends with Rain starting and Kaoru opening the umbrella for the two of them. Despite the time that has passed, they are still excited about what's about to come and will face it together this time. So that concludes the recap of the tunnel to summer, the exit of goodbyes. What do you guys think? First of all, it offers great animation and voice acting as it beautifully illustrated the sceneries of rural Japan and captured the characters' emotions. Unfortunately, the pacing seems a bit abrupt due to the short time and some scene is kinda off and feels a bit rushed. However, the evolution of the main characters who have gone through a lot of stuff is delivered superbly. The characters experience a gradual increase in happiness and fulfillment as they reflect on their challenging experiences, all while being pressured by the simple existence of the tunnel and its powers. Please tell us what you think through the comment section. If you like this content, please leave us a like and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching, until we see you again.